are here inside the Mayweather Boxing Club, Mickey Scala. Well, one to know, right, as a professional decorated, I know you're a highly decorated amateur. Tell us a little about your amateur credentials first. Um, I had 101 fights as an amateur. Uh, I won a few national titles. Um, my la most recent tournament was actually USA Nationals. I fought five times, I won four of them, and I placed third at 16 in the youth division, which is 17, 18 years old. And uh, I fought hard, I fought good. He's an uh, Olympic alternate, is the guy I lost to. You're 17, is that it? I just turned 17 in September. And already won to know as a professional? Yeah, I turned uh, pro at 16 in Mexico. That's your only option at 16. Well, you don't have much professional experience to, to call up about, but differences between uh, you know fighting as an amateur and becoming a professional? Um, you take your time a lot more. You got time to set up your punches and make sure you get something to land. Hopefully that knockout. Were you nervous going pro? I mean, you know, you're a highly decorated amateur, but it's, it's a different thing when you go pro. You know, losses matter a lot more than, than to do with the amateur ranks. Yeah, that was, uh, I was actually a lot more excited to turn pro. Obviously, we'd had to wait four years for the Olympics, so the pro professional boxing is something that we saw early in our career. And uh, I was excited to finally take that first step. All right, well, this weekend, taking part in the Mayweather Promotion Show. Uh, tell us your feelings about appearing on this card. I'm super excited to fight on this card. It's in the U.S., so my family, my friends get to come. We're going to bring a brick out and just put on a show. So are you, are you looking to be signed by Mayweather Promotions? What, what's your deal as far as promotionally goes? Uh, right now, obviously, we're not signed by anybody, but we are looking to put on a show and hopefully get some offers coming our way. So you wouldn't mind being, being signed in TMT? No, I would not mind that at all. Uh, who are some of the guys you looked up to growing up? You know, some of your, some of your uh, influences. Paul Williams, uh, Chris Eubank, uh, a lot of fighters, Mickey Ward, Arturo Gotti, Floyd Mayweather. I mean, you just have a lot of fighters. Pernell Whitaker, everybody, man. Wait, so boy, it doesn't, it's not like you have one style then, right? We have Pernell Whitaker and Floyd Mayweather and Arturo Gotti. That's a, uh, but, but I'll say th these are like clashes in styles. But no, obviously I like Paul Williams because he's just like me. Really tall, a good jab, super long. Just worked the whole fight. And then he could bang too. And then and so I love everybody, man. I love boxing. That's, that's you're a tall guy, what, about 6'1 or so. Is that, is that one thing you're really cognizant of? Is, is you know, keeping people at the, the end of your jab? Yeah, that, I keep out a good jab. But I do like, I like, I can bang, so I like getting in there and throwing to some people too. All right, well, one and all, obviously, like I said, just starting. What is your uh, next couple of years? How do you see your uh, career going? Hopefully, uh, we continue, continue our undefeated career. We get opportunities like this. And uh, I don't know, just we'll see what comes to play with all these, all these opportunities. All right, man, best of luck. I look forward to seeing you Friday night. We'll talk to you after you get that win. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, wait, yeah, I'll give out the uh, social media stuff. Okay. I have an Instagram, uh, Mickey Scala, M I C K Y S C A L A. That's it. You gonna come out to, to Hey Mickey or? <laughs> hey Mickey. <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't coming out to that. All right, buddy. Best of luck. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Thank you.